right, guys, Jari6, welcome back to the channel. Definitely appreciate you guys watching. So I recently moved. A lot of you guys know that. I, I told everyone. And one of the things that I had to do is find a new church, you know, for me and my family because you guys know that I believe in Christ. And uh, yeah, it's kind of funny when some of you guys ask me questions because uh, the tag of the videos is God is in control. So you would assume that I kind of, you know, believe in God. But some people some people get surprised when I talk about God in the channel. But anyways, uh, here's the deal, guys. I went into a new church. And, you know, we, we like it a lot. We're very, very happy there. But a lot of you guys always ask me the question, what are you going to do or what do you do if the pastor doesn't really agree on the fact that you carry a gun, a concealed gun? How do I deal with that situation? And to me, guys, I got to tell you, to me, it's extremely important that you carry a gun as much as you can. You know, obviously, some places it's going to be illegal. We got gun-free zones that are, are proven to be places where people, you know, good, law-abiding citizen Americans get killed. And to me, that is the government responsibility because they are, essentially, they are not allowing you to defend yourself. It is unbelievable. The common denominator between all this active shooter situation is typically a gun-free son, but for some reason, they cannot understand that information. But now, here's the deal. A lot of you guys ask me, hey, what do I do? What, how do I approach that situation? How do I talk to, to people to make sure that it's okay for me to carry a gun? And I got to tell you, the first thing, you got to make sure that you're legal. You have to make sure that you follow the law. You have to make sure you have your concealed carry. You have to make sure you have the required paperwork that you need to carry a gun i mean you can't go and address your pastor if you're not carrying a gun legally you have to be able to carry your gun legally but i got to tell you guys talk to your pastor definitely talk to him go there and and ask him what is your plan what is your plan to defend your congregation what is your plan to defend the people because i believe that as a pastor or well, as an older of the church, uh, you know, the deacons, the leadership of the church need to have a plan to defend the people. They need to have a way. They need to have something in place to defend the people. I think there, I think there is their responsibility is their house. And, and as a church, we need to have that in place. And, and that's what I would tell you. I would tell you, first of all, be legal, you know, have you, you require paperwork and then go and talk to your pastor. Let them know, hey, look, what can I do to help the church? How can I help you have this place secure? How do you feel about a concealed carrier? How do you feel about me carrying a gun inside the church? Have that conversation, you know, talk to him, let him know. And you'd be surprised, guys. Some guys, some pastors won't agree to it, but some of the pastors will be extremely happy to have you you know they will be really really happy because now they know that you are a good person good law-abiding citizen that wants to protect yourself want to protect your family want to protect your church and you'll be surprised they're going to be extremely happy to have you now again guys if your pastor is one of those guys that doesn't agree if your pastor one of those guys that hey you know what you, you shouldn't carry a gun here then i to me it's time to move on to me, it's time to go to different churches. To me, it's start, you know, it's time to start over. And, and again, there's a lot of different choices why I pick a church in particular, you know, making sure that the pastor is anointed by, by God to preach the word of God. Definitely, you know, he has to he has to be a saved man. And and you know, all the requirements for me to dedicate myself to that specific church, but that that factor of carrying a gun. Is also involved into that equation, and then I made the decision to go to the church. So again, guys, be legal. Talk to your pastor. Talk to him. Let him know. Look, I got a gun. I have a permit. I'm ready to carry. I have training. I know how to use my gun. I, how can I assist you in the security of the church? Or how do you feel about me carrying a gun? And he may use you, or he may tell you not to. And then if you get the not to. Maybe it's time to move on. Let me know what you think, guys. A lot of you guys go to church. A lot of you guys have a great relationship with Christ, and that's amazing. Let me know how you guys deal with that type of situation down below. Again, people ask questions. 
that's what I did. That's how I dealt with that situation. Again, I appreciate you guys' support. And if you like this type of videos, click like, subscribe to the channel, share the videos, and God is in control.